Hello everyone, this is Harsh and today we are going to learn what is the custom user control and what is custom control with the live example and also we will see when to use the template winding and when to use the template parent in the custom control. So without wasting the time, let's get started. What is custom control? Custom control refers to a control that is created from scratch by writing code that defines its behavior and appearance. Custom control are typically more complex than other controls and are used when you need a control that does not exist in WPF framework. What is custom user control? Custom user control on the other hand is a control that is created by combining existing controls. This means that you can use custom user control to create new controls that are made up of other controls. What is the difference between the custom control and custom user control? Custom control provides more control over the controls behavior and appearance while custom user control is more limited. Custom control are used when you need to create a control that is not available in the WPF framework while custom user control is used when you need to create a control that is made up of other controls. A custom control in WPF is reusable control that can be used across multiple projects. It is created by inheriting from the control class and can include custom logic, styles and templates to define its behavior and appearance. A custom user control on the other hand is created by inheriting from the user control class. It provides a convenient way to wrap existing control into a reusable package so you can use control in multiple places in your application. Custom controls are typically created when you need to provide a unique user interface that is not provided by an existing control. Custom user controls are typically used when you need to create a composite control that is composed of other control. Custom control does not have a code behind file. It is also known as lookless control. This is because the custom control implementation is decoupled from the control visual declaration. Custom user control has its own code behind file where you can write code to interact with the controls in user control. Now we will see the practical example. Here I will add one project. We can select this WPF application. Okay. I click on next and here I will say custom controls okay i will click on next and create it now here i will delete this and also i will delete this now here i will add one user control means we are going to create a custom user control new item and then i will search for user control this is the one and here i will say custom user control okay click on add now as per definition we know like we can use the existing control here in the user control so we can add some button and here i will say content this is button okay now this user control we can use in other application like here i want to use in bridge map okay we'll go to this main main view and let's use that control first add the dependency i will add it add this project to this project I will check it click on ok ok now we want to use this custom user control if you see i have created this user control this is the ui and you can see the code behind also right so in the custom user control we will have ui as well as code behind means we can write the code here like if you want to write the click event then we can just double click here and we will get the click event and we can write the logic here okay now let's use this i will build it and now here i want to use this user control so first we have to add the namespace let's add it i will say xmlns custom equal to custom controls okay now using this we can use that user control okay let's add it i will say custom and then custom user control okay now let's run it you can see this is button which is the user control right and if you see here this control is extended from user control right now we will see how to create the custom control so i will add new item here and here i will search for custom this is custom control i will select it i will keep the name as custom control itself and i will click on add okay now if you observe here when we created this custom control one folder is created themes 
inside that we will have the gendic.xml file where we can define our ui but if you see here we have only class right we don't have any ui we will not able to see the ui for the custom control okay and if you go here here also we will not able to see the ui okay now here i want to make the custom button control so what i will do here you can see the custom control is inherited from control now i want to make a custom button control so here i will inherit from the button okay and now this custom control we can use here custom control and custom control okay i will build it and if you see here i have not added anything it's already added when we add this custom control okay we don't have any button here don't have any button control. now as i have added this custom control here let's run it first i will comment this let's run it you can see nothing is there right now i will add this button control and i will say content equal to custom control or we can say custom button control okay now let's run you can see the button here right but we don't have click event here let's try to add the click event you will not able to add here okay and we will not able to see the ui here also right when we run only then we can see now what i will do here i will comment this and i will comment this constructor as well and now let's run and see you can see here one button is there but there is no content as we have inherited this class from the button so it will show the default button style here okay if we want to add something here then we can add the style in this gentic.jml file okay and if we add this constructor and the ui then we will see the this content okay this is how we can create the custom control here if we want to inherit from the content control then to show the content we have to use the content presenter content presenter here okay i will remove this now let's run we are not getting anything here okay now here i will use the content equal to this is content control okay now let's run and see we can see the content here okay this is how we can show the content for the content control okay now we will see the binding part like how to bind the custom user control or custom control okay so for that i will create one property in the main view model here i will say prop and here i will say string and then user control okay user control content okay and one more property i will create for custom control okay custom control okay custom control content okay and now here i will call this set property method i will replace this and this okay now in the custom user control i want to bind the button content so to bind it we have to create the dependency property for this then we can bind it from here okay so here i will create one dependency property okay and i will say button content okay here i will say this or here we can say this name custom user control here and here i will set the string value as string dot empty okay now we can bind this content here where is our custom user control here and here i will say binding this one okay now this dependency property we can use in our main view to bind the content of the button okay equal to binding and then for custom user control i will use user control content okay and here i will assign default value this is user control okay now let's run and see we can see the content okay this is content control means this we are not able to see this content which is user control content you can see here i will change the width to 200 and same for this we are not able to see the content okay why we are not able to see we have to use here relative source not here we have to bind here relative source and relative source and then ancestor type as user control okay now let's build the project and see now build is completed i will turn it and now we can see the content right this is how we can bind to the custom user control okay now we will see how to bind the custom control okay to bind the control we need dependency property right so we will create the dependency property here as well so i will create it prop dp and then tab and here i will make it a string and i will say this is the wrapper of the dependency property here i will say custom content okay now here i will pass custom control and as it is a string so here i will pass the empty as a default value okay and now this we have to bind to the custom control so i will go to gendic and here first i will use button control and here i will set the 
content for the button i will say text block text equal to binding and then this custom content okay now let's go to main view and here i will bind now here i will bind custom control binding and then i will use the property what i defined in the main view model for the custom control which is custom control content okay so i will use it first set the value for it this is custom control okay here we have to use the dependency properties which we defined here which is custom content okay and now build it now run it okay you can see we are not getting the content here okay why it is not working because here i have used binding which will not work here so to bind the property we have to use this template binding okay Okay, now let's run and see. You can see this is custom control, right? This is how we can bind it. When we use the template binding, then it will search for the target type. It will search the property for the target type, which is custom control. And custom control have the property called custom content. So it will bind to the text. Like when we bind here, this custom content, then it will go to this custom content of this custom control and bind to that value. But there is one disadvantage of using this template binding because we want to use two way binding, then it will not work. Let's see. Here I will change text block to text box. Okay. And now I will add the breakpoint here. Okay. Now let's run. This is here. Now I want to delete this. But if you see, this is not updated, right? So what is the fix for it? To fix it, we have to use the template parent okay which supports two way binding okay here i will use like this binding then relative source relative source and then here i will say select mode and then template parent okay now let's build it now let's run it now i want to remove it now click outside it is not updating that property right let's see what is the issue here okay here i will set the mode as two way now let's run and see now i will try to remove this text from here click outside now you can see it called the setter so it, it will update this content okay okay i hope you learn what is custom user control and what is custom control and what is the difference between these two and also we learn what is the difference between template binding and template parent that's all for this video if you found this video helpful let's share with your friends